Did you know last year I reviewed the 13 inch HP Pavilion X360, which was one of the best budget laptops for students? Well, in this video, I've teamed up with HP to showcase to you the new 15.6 inch HP Pavilion X360 laptop, along with the HP Pavilion 27 inch monitor. And this particular combo is what I like to call the ultimate HP setup for under $1,000 because it's not only great for productivity, but it's also a lot of fun. So let's get right into it. And I'm gonna show you what each item brings to the table or desk literally. The main piece of equipment is obviously the star of the show, the new 2017 HP Pavilion X360 convertible laptop. And more specifically, this model is the 15-BR010NR in the silver finish, and it's a great looking laptop that is currently on Amazon for right around $730. Now I know prices will fluctuate as time goes by, so I will leave the most up-to-date links to every product mentioned in this video in the description below. Now I'm primarily a Mac user, but I wanted to try the HP Pavilion X360 because one, it is a way more more budget from the option, especially for those of you who are students, saving money is a priority. And two, there are no Mac convertible laptops or Macs with touchscreens for that matter. And Windows 10 on HP touchscreens works really well for productivity, which you know I'm a huge fan of. For example, if you have a compatible digital pen like this HP Active Stylus, you can write with it using Microsoft inking. And the Pavilion X360, like the name suggests, has a 360 degree rotating screen, which is in fact its primary feature. So you can use it like a normal laptop when you want to type, but you can also flip it into tent mode when you want to utilize the touchscreen more or if you just need a break and want to watch some of my YouTube videos. And you can also flip it all the way into tablet mode for when you want to use it like a tablet for something like games or reading. The Pavilion X360 has pretty good performance while only sacrificing a couple of features that higher end laptops have, mostly hard drive speed. With this being budget friendly, it's not going to come with a blazing fast solid state drive. Instead, it has a 5400 RPM mechanical hard drive that is slower than an SSD, but based on my benchmark test, it does read and write at around 100 megabytes per second, which isn't bad. And since it is a hard disk drive, you're going to be able to get a lot more storage for the price. Now this model has a one terabyte hard drive, which can store almost double of what my MacBook Pro can store, but at a much cheaper price point. It's also sporting a seventh generation Intel Core i5-7200U dual core processor at 2.5 gigahertz with max turbo up to 3.1 gigahertz. So it's been able to handle a lot of tasks that I've thrown at it, such as having multiple browser tabs open while listening to Spotify and typing a document, which is a normal workday routine for me. And if you're into numbers on the official Geekbench test, it scored 2997 for single core and 6613 for multi-core. Now for things like HD video editing, it's not as fast as some other quad core i7 laptops, but it does have eight gig gigabytes of fast and efficient DDR4 SD RAM, which helps out a ton, so it certainly is capable of editing videos, something that I personally love doing. Now, if you're not doing intensive tasks that require a lot of CPU rendering, you can expect to get pretty good battery life out of the Pavilion X360. I'm getting around eight to nine hours on average and possibly 10 if you're very conservative. Long battery life is a very important factor for laptops these days, and it seems to be a nice benefit on this laptop. Now, this setup is perfect for people who are like me and want a lot of screen real estate. It's definitely not the most mobile laptop. It's fairly large and is built for getting work done with its full-size keyboard and number pad, along with a nicely sized trackpad. It has Bang & Olufsen speakers for some crisp sounding audio, HP Wide Vision HD webcam with a built-in microphone. On the left side, there is the power button, headphone jack, and volume rocker. And on the right side, there is the charging port, a full-size HDMI port, two USB 3.1 ports, one USB-C port, and an SD card reader. So it definitely has a wide variety of ports. But one of its best perks is the beautiful 15.6 inch full HD IPS WLED backlit screen that is of course multi-touch enabled from edge to edge. The touch is responsive and it has great viewing angles. Watching videos and movies is definitely something that this laptop was built for. But since I'm a YouTuber and filmmaker, I probably create more videos than I watch. So that's where the next item of this setup comes into play. With the HP Pavilion 27XW monitor, I'm using this setup as a way to finally learn how to use Adobe Premiere Pro, which is something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. When I'm on my Mac, I use Final Cut Pro 10, but that's not available for Windows, so it's the perfect time for me to learn a new program. The Pavilion 27-inch monitor is currently on Amazon for right under $200, and it's one of the best-looking monitors in its price range. 
You can tell that HP took some inspiration from Apple in the way they designed this monitor. It's sleek, thin, but also simple. It has a white and silver finish, and the way the stand is made, it gives you easy accessibility to the VGA and HDMI ports on the back. And yes, this does come with an HDMI cable, which is always nice. And to connect it to the Pavilion X360, all you have to do is connect the HDMI cable to the HDMI port on the monitor and the other end of the cable into the HDMI port on the laptop, and you're all set. The monitor can be tilted back and forth, and similar to the Pavilion X360 display, display, this also has in-plane switching IPS technology for amazing viewing angles. The Pavilion 27-inch monitor is a full HD 16x9 display with 10 million to 1 dynamic contrast ratio and a Technicolor certification and only 8 milliseconds response time so it's a great monitor for designers and content creators who are still on a fairly small budget. And with the thin bezels on this monitor, it's just a very attractive monitor. As a video editor, it's so much easier to edit footage when you have multiple displays because you can have the editor in full screen on one monitor while being able to import or organize your media files on the other monitor. I would highly recommend getting some sort of stand to put the laptop on so it's more aligned with the monitor though. And you'll also want a Bluetooth keyboard and a wireless mouse such as this HP Z3700 which is super portable and the battery life is outstanding on it. And once you have those things, you'll have yourself a fantastic looking dual screen setup so you can increase your productivity while also being able to kick back and be entertained all for $1,000 or less. So that is my ultimate HP setup for under $1,000. Thanks to HP for sponsoring this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if it helps you out in any way. My name is Andy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.